the American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers 32nd Historic Landmark designation is the Pole Frame Building. In the mid-1940s along the Missouri-Illinois boundary, Bernie G. Perkins of Doan Agricultural Service introduced a new pole frame construction concept to the agricultural production industry. This construction technique revolutionized the way barns and other agricultural facilities were built. Prior to the introduction of pole frame buildings, large expensive barns were popular in the United States and the world. These buildings were costly and usually difficult to justify. Development of the pole frame building concept in the early part of World War II reduced the cost of barn construction by half during a time of scarce materials and limited investment capital. The pole frame construction pioneered by Mr. Perkins was a major revolutionary change in framing and construction techniques. Most notable changes included using pressure treated poles for structural support, eliminating concrete foundations, overlapping standard length lumber, reducing cutting and adding strength, using larger and fewer rafters and roof supports on edge spanning greater distances, and building single-story barns with no loft and open on the south, reducing ventilation problems, especially for animal housing. A unique feature of the pole frame building is sidewall posts typically spaced eight feet on center and embedded approximately four to five feet into the ground. The embedded post resists both the design gravity loads and transverse loads created by wind and seismic forces. The sidewall poles then support wall and roof framing. The roof framing of early versions of the pole frame buildings consisted of roof rafters spaced two to four feet on center. Modern pole frame buildings use roof trusses in place of rafters. Originally, sidewall poles were round and tapered wood posts. Today, the vast majority of pole frame buildings are constructed with square or rectangular, solid sawn or laminated sidewall posts. Numerous other improvements since the 1940s include the adoption of diaphragm design techniques and alternative embedment techniques to improve post-lateral strength and endurance. These improvements have led to the expansion of pole frame design into a wider range of buildings including light industrial, commercial, retail, residential, storage and religious facilities and to the establishment of the National Frame Builders Association. The pole frame building concept developed by Perkins revolutionized agricultural building construction and spawned the post frame building industry which continues to flourish and expand throughout North America and in many parts of the world. This plaque commemorating the pole frame building concept was dedicated in 1995 and is located at the headquarters of the National Frame Builders Association in Lawrence, Kansas.